Hey grade one! So this week we're just going to apply, that means use everything we've learned from reading the note symbols, that's the quarter notes, our half notes, and our dotted minims, and our semi-brief, but there's no semi-brief in this piece, and we're also going to be putting together how to read the notes. So whether they're on the line or on the spaces, and by now you should be able to do that without much difficulty. It should be pretty easy. So let's try and do it in this piece called Tell Me, and guess who is going to be told? I'm going to be told. And what are you going to tell me? The notes. So let's get started. Quick reminder, if it's a line note, meaning if it's on the line, we use every good boy deserves Fanta. So E, G, B, D, F. If it's in the space, you use face. F, A, C, E. Let's get started. So this first note, oh, I'm noticing a lot of these notes are in pairs, meaning they, they come in twos. So that means if we know one of these ones, we'll know the second one. If we know this one, we'll know the second one. If we know this one, we'll know the second one. So this should be pretty easy. So let's start off. This note is a new note. We call this one dangling D. Why is it dangling? Just picture yourself if, as if you're sitting on a ledge. Or like if you're sitting on the balcony and your feet are just swishing like this. That means your feet are dangling. So this note is outside. He's like if he, he was on the cliff and he's just dangling himself right there. So if it's under the line, we call this dangling D. But we don't write dangling D, no, we just write D. It's just dangling is a good way to remember it. Like, oh, he's dangling, so that means he's a D. Dangling D. So dangling D gets the letter D. Don't forget, we're going to see some more dangling Ds later on in that piece, okay? So dangling D. This is on a line, so that is E. It's on the first line, every. This one is the same one. It's on the same line, so we don't even need to try and calculate it. We can see it. What about here? It's on a space, the first space, and this one is on the same space, so that means it's an F. This one's on the second line, so every good. That's a G. This is a rest. So, when, remember when we were doing our quiz? A lot of people thought that this rest has no beats. No. Although we don't say anything, it ha it, you don't say anything for one beat. So this means that this rest, this funny looking line, gets one beat. But one beat of silence. So, rest for one beat. Now this is on the third line. So, every good boy. This one is on the second space, so A, F, A. This one's on the second line, so every good. This is on the first space, so it's a F. This is on a second line, that makes it a, hope you said G. This is underneath, that means he's dangling. So which note is this? If he's dangling, he must be D. All right, there we go, dang D. Next one, so the first line. So both of them, that means they both get E. All right, the next one, they're in a space, the first space. That means, oh, they're just like these ones. So that means they get F. Next two on the second line. So that means every Hope you said good and not dog, because it's not every dog, it's every good. This one's on a second space, so it gets the letter A. Rest for one beat. Next one, it's on the third line, so every good boy. It's on the second line, so every good. Oh, look at this, he's dangling, so that means he's the letter, what? H, there's no H in music, he's the letter D, yes he is, dangling D. And here, first space, that makes it a F. And this last one is on the second line, so that makes it a G. Now, remember what we said last time, you don't read all the notes put together, like the way you read a name. No, we read each letter by itself. So, D, D, E, E, F, F, G, rest. B, A, G, 
F G D E E F F G G A rest B G D F G Now let's try and get the rhythm well If it has if it's if you can't see through it that means it's a quarter note and that means it gets ta If you can see through it I mean, and, it does, and it does not have a dot, that makes it a half note, and it gets ta-a, two beats. Quarter note, one beat, half note, two beats. You should be, have that in your mind, you should be dreaming about half notes and quarter notes all day long. When it has, when you can see through it, and it has a dot, that makes it a minim. And a minim, a dotted minim, sorry, not a minim, because a minim is a half note. So this makes it a dotted minim. The reason why it's called a dotted minimum is because of the dot. And it has three beats. So ta, a, a. The rest rests for a ta. It just rests. So rest. So ta. Okay, the rest, the ta is, is for one beat. So let's try and read out the rhythm and then we'll say the notes according to the rhythm. Alright, so let's say the rhythm. This is my beat. One, two, three, let's go. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 a, ta, a, ta, 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 rest. Ta, 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 a, a. Now let's try and say all together. Let's say the notes. End the rhythm. So what happens is we see the notes according to the rhythm. So let's try that. That shouldn't be hard. I'll move a bit slow. One, two, three, go. D, D, E, E, F, F, G, rest. B, A, G, F, G, D, E. pieces where we're putting some, some of the notes together, where some of them are looking at just the note letters, and we've done two now where we've put them all together. So next week, we're just going to be reviewing and finally putting it so that we can fully understand what is this and what is this and how do they work well together. So always remember, when I ask what type of note is this, type? Like if I say what type of animal is this, you look at the animal and say, oh, this is a dog, this is a cat, this is a werewolf. So the same way, when you look at this and I ask you what type of note is this, that means I'm asking, is it a half note, a quarter note, a dotted minim, or a whole note? But if I ask, what is the letter note? Or if I just ask, what is, yeah, just what is the letter note? So that means, is it a D? Is it an E? Is it an A? So the letter note is according to where it is on the staff. Is it on a line or a space? That's the letter note. The type of note is whether it's a half note, half note, quarter note, dot and minimum, or semi brief. Make sure you're able to tell the difference between those two. And when we take a type of note and when we take the letter note and put them together, that's where music is made. So make sure you fully understand it and it's not hard to understand. So all the best and go through this as much as you need. See you guys next week.